everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please abide in your eyes again. Really Plus, we're building a nice little pseudo streak here. Ooh, very interesting. Starting with nine lives. F8 TX VVBY. Terrible stats. Uh, as far as, I mean, HP is good, and nine lives means that our HP is good and also doesn't matter. Um, very bad DPS. Life rolls on. This seems like a good start with some bad elements. I would give this like a seven and a half. Then you know if you if you were, you were here in the days where I was like rating every Eden start, uh, you know seven and a half. That's not a that's not a meager grade from me in Isaac. You know, you won't get me. I just wish like I, I had this whole bit in mind for telepathy. You were gonna. You know, shoot a bullet at me, I was gonna grab the bullet and be like, Well, I guess our DPS doesn't matter if we can turn our enemies against each other. And then, uh, we've consistently just not fought... ...any enemies that, uh, you know, actually fire any bullets. Austin Powers, ooh. Oh. That glowed. You saw it. Hold on. It's still, it's still glowing. What the heck, dude? I've been lied to! With nine lives, we really can't afford to get stuck in the vortex of not making the deal with the devil here. Leading to situations where we can't make the deal with the devil in the future because we didn't get enough strength to make the deal with the devil. Without losing more HP in the process, you get the general gist of it. No keys. It's so tempting to just... Thank you. Get like, just give me a key, okay? I'm willing to, I don't care about the money. I just need to get into the item room. We can save the shop for later. But just let, at least let me get into the item room. I don't, I want to use my bomb to get into, well, do I really care about using my bomb to get into an Isaac's room? Now that I think about it? What are we hoping to glean? Not that much. I think I'll just blow you up. Talk to myself out of it. Uh, and still didn't get anything. This is uh, well and above the amount of difficulty you would expect in order to get a key. But it is what it is, you know, you're playing by the game's rules. Very rude. I mean, I... Just to be honest with you, it's not really my cup of tea here, you know, it's getting pretty late on a Friday. All the other people have left the office that got home to their families. Here I am, just uh, very meticulously feeding a single half red heart piece into uh, the blood bank, hoping that it turns into something. I would not be doing this if I was not a true believer in our ability and the requirements that are presented in front of us. But at the same time, would it kill you? Oh my god, okay. So we've actually, <laughs> we've actually made some progress. Okay, so then you blow this up. You get in Isaac's room. It's a dirty room, not unexpected, but you gotta check. Wow, it has nothing underneath it, which is very new. That's a new one, as the, as people say. Um, people say that, yeah, absolutely. But we're still on the search for a key. The only solace I take right now is the fact that the longer it takes to get a key, the better the item room is gonna be. I don't make the rules, the, those are the rules. I do not make them. Okay, because you have uh, done me a disservice here, you will be exploded. Way to go, dummy. Now, I'm very tempted to do the same to you. I've been spending a minute here. A minute is not a long time, but what is a human life except a series of wasted minutes? And I am uh, indeed wasting several here. Thank you. That's an enormous boost. Now, still would like a key. Seems unlikely we'll get one, but at least you had the audacity and dare I even say the mutual level of respect that I have for you, you have shown to me by allowing me to at least pick up an item. And an item with, of some reasonable use as well. Now, you give me a bombs or key. Explosive you give me a bombs or key. It's okay. Gulp is actually still pretty solid. Okay, I mean, I, I don't think there is any means for us to get a key. That's my bad. I thought about opening a golden chest six weeks ago, so I guess that's my penance. This is actually 
a, a pretty good situation for us. Like, having an orbital, it's really like the great equalizer if you got a level of confidence. And they didn't even give us a key on the first chest. They were like, that'll be bad manners. They waited until the second chest. I really respect that, you know? Good old Trana game. That's, uh, that's Donald Cherry. Okay, that's not how you do that, clearly. My bad. Will you allow me the incredible service of going to an item room? Oh my. And all the things a boy could dream of could exist on that item room. We could get a tiers upgrade. We could even get a tier effect. <laughs> we could get a range upgrade. All the good ones. That's right, Charlie. Okay, so we have lost a red heart here. That is my bad. You know, doubtlessly. Wafer is really nice, actually. It does turn this run into uh, an absolutely god-awful war of attrition. <laughs> okay, now we get him next time he comes back around this angle. If he comes back around this angle... My man, you're not bouncing right? He's actually done it. I am stunned. Let's just gulp this trash trinket. Get it out of our mental overhead. Slightly... Trickier enemy. Yikes! To take out with exclusively an orbital? Um, I mean, you know as well as I do. We don't have to do it exclusively with the orbital, but... Seven to thirty times faster to do so. Do me a favor, sir. Please do your attack where you shoot bullets. I'm realizing now you're a champion, so you will not. That actually opens up my strategy quite a lot, to be honest. Now I don't have to be so slow. I can go straight after these guys with telepathy instead of saving it for a rainy day. Okay, it was horrible, but a damage upgrade. It's something. Take me down to the next floor, please. We're just, like, you might not realize it, because I think the numbers paint a, a dishonest story here. This is a really terrible run for DPS. I, will give this I was already like talking about how bad our DPS was on the first floor. Now we are on the fourth floor. I don't want to just switch into complaining mode for the whole episode, okay? That's not... That's not in my... list of... desired activities. We gotta accept. I'm trying to keep the bomb alive as a... as a damage enabler. How sad is that? We have to give up... the slightest semblance of control... to the RNG... random number generator and... All we can really do, oh my lord, is uh, is do our best, you know, and make good decisions. So what, what's a good decision early? I mean, trying our best not to take damage uh, in advance of the deal with the devil. That's really the big one. I'm begging you. I have the resources for the first time. Please just let me go uh, to the shop. I will gladly pay a heavy cost. Wow, that was terrible. No! Had 0.01% downtime on telepathy. See, what What did I call out as a potential problem on the second floor? And people were probably like, you're, you're insane. You got nothing to worry about here. You get caught in this cycle of it being impossible to get to the deal with the devil. And there's the spirit heart, because the game, of course, continues to have a sense of irony. So I, you know, I gotta, I gotta cool it. I can feel the blood pressure rising. Okay, we got a bomb. I will go for this then. The frail. It's rough. It's a little, it's a little touchy. This is going so much better than I ever could have asked for. We got a damage upgrade, and this is where I, I start making enemies. It's not that good. 
It's good. It's not that good. Two tiers upgrades is all we need. I know I started asking for one. That was earlier, okay? I'm taking over the negotiations, and I've changed the terms of the deal. Pray that I do not alter them further. I mean, if you're like, well, you were asking for one tiers upgrade earlier, now you're asking for two. What gives, brother? Well, it's like saying, well, you only wanted a bowl of cereal for breakfast. Now it's later, and you want a, you know, a actual dinner with a side dish as well? That's crazy. You know, the human body is using energy throughout the day. You got different uh, caloric needs depending on your level of hunger. All I ask is that I'm just begging you for something half decent. Okay, you know, I'll take it. Um, it's also an orbital. So I, I'm not actually really complaining. But at some point, you do have to say, you know, this is a little bit incredible. Pretty important for us. Like, don't just throw this life away, you know? Yikes. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is interesting. Let's just, let's just call it interesting for now. Oh my word. This is, uh... It's not your ideal run. It's one of those runs where you're like, you know, if you had told me this is where we were going today with this with this final run, I probably would have left it at one. At one very nice episode. No complaints. Very, very, very minor complaints on that one. Then you have the audacity come at me with this one right here. Um... We are not going to go to our curse room, I'll tell you that with authority. What we're going to do is head down to the next floor and start this absolutely laborious, god-awful process all over again, but this time <laughs> with one extra HP, slightly higher damage, and a, a second orbital. Now, you know, you know what I'm going to say. The deal with the devil is of the utmost importance. If we're lucky enough to pick up uh, a consumable, don't let them chase you. I walked into the fire. I was going to say, if we're lucky enough to pick up a consumable, we can get a tinted rock. Oops. The moon. Okay, let me guess. It's full of spirit hearts. No, no such luck. This is, it must be a new record. We're finding the uh, item room without examining every other room on the floor. Now, if you really want to impress me, uh, give me a key so I can enter it. Doesn't have to happen right away. I'm not that greedy. <laughs> I think we should go to the shop because um, we have the Steam sale. At least buy that. I was hoping we could perhaps purchase a key as well, but that's just madness. There's no camera on, so <laughs> you can just imagine uh, the look that that crossed my. Visage When I saw that that was an amnesia pill. It's one of those things where you're like, you know taken in uh, in isolation any one of these You know rolls of relatively bad luck. You're just like yeah, whatever It's only when it it's only when it's taken in aggregate as you know part of the narrative of a run Where a lot of things are going wrong that you can really be like it really frustrated, but what that means, I think, at least the way I'm going to choose to take it here, I'll vent about it later off camera, but the way I'm going to choose to think about it here is that it's within my grasp to change my perception of that narrative and as a result curtail my frustration and probably elevate my level of play ever so slightly. So we've got a, what I would describe optimistically as a 50-50 chance of this deal with the devil, which could just be this and then right. And then up, and then right, okay. We, the only thing that could top this off right now, because I know we're getting a, a second level key with me, which is actually, is a value add, but it's not very good, is uh, our deal with the devil, which I've almost thrown away, but will not. Actually being great. 
and it isn't, but I still think we're gonna go a little nuts on this. These all benefit us for being fast, and they put damage where we stand, and we have nine lives, and we have the wafer. So I actually think we can afford to get a little loco on this one, if you'll allow me. And I, I think that this is one of those situations where, you know, it's not really dangerous when you consider that the alternative is like a slow descent into uh, likely an incredibly frustrating death. This way we're throwing everything we got at this incredibly weird build and basically saying to the game like, hey game, you know, I, I've done pretty much everything I can do when it comes to, you know, leveraging our available situation. That's comical. That that situation... Oh, you can make a six episode season on BBC about that. Okay, so we're still... Despite getting uh, basically like two entire floors worth of like pretty staggeringly good items, I would now describe us as merely having like an average quality build. Uh, not just physically, but also like where we are on this run. I think we're... We're far, n not as nearly as far as we used to be. We're far away from true excellence, but we're definitely now at a level of like, so you're saying there's a chance. So I should probably try a little harder to break the habit of uh, walking into bullets. But instead, I am not going to do that. Um, or at least pretty good. Definitely, I'm, I'm for chaos right now. Team Chaos, sign me up. Give me a lucky toe as well. That one was almost inexcusable. Just because we have HP, now I'm like, let, let's throw it away. Nah, 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 nah. It's a bad mojo. You know, this is the first floor on which I can honestly say I feel hopeful. For like, I don't know, probably like 10 floors. Which is weird because we're on the ninth floor. It tells you something about my general disposition. Okay, we're going to have to backtrack. Um, sure, that's actually pretty, pretty smart, um, which was the opposite of, uh, the way I feel after taking damage there. I'm also gonna get real risky here, and it was, uh, undeserved, should not have given the respect that I did, but it is what it is. Still got half a spirit heart and a, a half a floor. <laughs> Realistically, I think you would have expected a little bit of a... An elevated payout there, but I'm not complaining. We've been given an honest-to-goodness second chance in this run. It's just up to us to... Skirt. Extremely strong telepathy. Oh, you son of a gun. Just as I was about to get braggadocious. <laughs> well, um, you can't say it's undeserved. All I can really say is I think we took a very realistic amount of damage on the floor. All we did on top of that was take some risks that honestly on an average run, I don't even think we'd have to consider apologizing for, but on this run, hey, this ain't your average run. That's more devastating right there, honestly, to take that bit of damage, but still, I didn't lose hope there, map and compass. I mean, to be honest, now that I think about it, what do we care about a deal with the devil? We already have uh, chaos. Trust me, I know where to go. I've been on this floor before. Absolutely mind-numbingly stupid play there. In my brain, I'm like, how do I get this guy, dude? Just get him to walk over the creep. Good God, that was horrible. A little brain fart. <laughs> but, oh my God! You want to talk about good luck. Okay, well, if you want to talk about good luck, we should really make sure it is a, a black market before we get too invested, but... I think I'm gonna peep the curse room. I really think we're... Oh, Lord. Just out here trying to maximize, you know, items, really. It's the big thing. 
I, I might be delusional, but I feel like even on one HP with the setup we got here, we're actually completely fine. Are we immune to death? Oh no, we will probably die like at least six or seven times. The run has given me exactly what I need. Wow. Um, at least I killed you, but that sucked. I was just hemmed in. I'm a little annoyed by uh, the wafer's complete ineffectiveness. But I'm also incredibly stoked with telepathy's unbelievable usefulness here. That was super good. No deal with the devil? That's fine. We definitely would have traded um, one HP for basically any item that's good at all. Curse the lost, huh? Cool. You know what I say to that? I say that that is, that is cool beans, dude. Those are... Those are cool. Go ahead, shoot me. Were it not for telepathy, this run would be a thousand percent dead. I really don't want to do this room. Um, but I will. By the way, if you ever wanted like a, a, a gauge to know whether your run was garbage, being afraid to fight Super Envy, or at least uh, annoyed to fight Super Envy on the Cathedral, is probably a pretty good indicator that your run is uh, somewhere around garbage tier. It's fallen from grace in a big way. Uh, relative to how it started, at least. You know, I was like, I was talking it up. What did I say? Seven and a half out of ten. You know what I say now? 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75 out of ten. And now that's an unreasonable grade. It's going to ruin his educational career. For what? A petty grudge? I suppose. Well, at least we don't have to do this room again. Very dumb, not, not smart idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that I don't think it's actually okay. I don't think a range down is the number one item I, I could be using right now. Very rarely do I look at a run and say, you know what this run could really look, uh, use? Less range. I would be remiss if I didn't mention it has happened. <laughs> there are situations in which less range is actually Nice. Critical? Probably not. Nice? Sure. Ah, help me! Help me! Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god. I'm begging you, dude. All the other people at the content creation factory have gone home. Uh, they're all enjoying their lives. They're having nice, warm extremely symbolic American dinners. Like, I'm telling you, it's a Wednesday. It's not a Wednesday, it's a Friday. They're having roasted pheasant on top of a bed of seasonal vegetables cooked on a drip pan in the oven where the drippings from the bird go straight onto the vegetables, imbuing them with a meaty richness, the likes of which you just can't get out of a Del Monte frozen bag. I'm in here nearly entering ketosis out of hunger. Not just ketosis, diabetic acidosis. That's not true, but it's a long series of words, which make, uh, adds a little certain gravity to the situation, right? What's my game plan? Honestly, that's my game plan. You wait for a telepath. What hit me? Did I walk into my own telepathy shot? When telepathy is active, you get in there with orbital damage. Ah, that's don't 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 no 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 no. Okay, this is very important. Things are actually completely fine. You just have to not screw this one up. And by completely fine, by the way, I mean pretty horrible. <laughs> but could get better on the chest with our incredible luck stat.
Oh my god, we caught the shot like a millimeter away from our face. Uh, we got him! We freaking got him, dude! Ooh. <laughs> Why? 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 This is just a... Uh, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Okay? That's a funny joke. Alright, you gave me something. I can live with that something, okay? You gave me something and I appreciate it. Asking me to use Dad's key is, is asking me to die for a laugh. Haven't I done that a thousand times already in this series? over the course of 75 years of gameplay. There's there's some humor here, wouldn't you say? In the idea that we could use Potato Peeler. If we're gonna use it, I wanna use it a minimum of three times so that we can get our orbital back, because I still believe uh, that our orbital is, is really the future of this run. It's like, it's turned Isaac into a strategy game, and not in a good way. <laughs> It's like, it, you know what it is? It's a MOBA. It's like whenever we uh, find ourselves surrounded by shots, you pop telepathy. Okay, after you pop telepathy, get in there. You get them all in your aggro range. Okay, you come back. Telepathy's off cooldown. You're going to use thorns. Uh, any enemy that hits you is going to be killed. And then, okay, now you're going to get in there. You're going to pop telepathy as a little bit of an initiator. And, you know, you get the idea. I'm being a little bit ridiculous, but... I don't think we were blocking that one. So here's the thing. If you if you kill me, you kill me. But, you know, maybe we don't have to go that way. It looks very likely we're going to have to go that way. Um, it's very hard to commit to doing four rooms. Or doing uh, giving up four lives this early. I did... I popped telepathy and it veered. I don't know if that was... If that actually had anything to do with it, but... It felt right. Just killing one would mean so much. I even got in there with the orbital for a moment. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Dude, honestly. Very, very strong option for us on this room. This is, uh, this is horrible. Just a, a joyless run for everybody but you, the viewer. <laughs> hopefully. I mean, hopefully it's not joyless for you. Hopefully it's joyful for you, is what I mean. But, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, it's not going to make it onto my Rock'em Sock'em Best of Isaac videos. Okay, let's just pop it. Wanted to make sure they were getting relatively low, because, I mean... Honestly, we'd rather deal with enemies on the ground than enemies in the air. We got a lot of creep-related stuff. We got a lot of stuff related to the air dome. Can we just have like a normal room? Is getting a little silly. I mean, I'm sure I got a little bias. But like, this is one of the hardest uh, chest floors I think I've ever seen. It's madness. And it, it never ends. I uh, suppose we will try to kill Glutiny last. We want to be gluten free, so well, I don't really care, but you know. I'd like the HP. I'm kind of a little too lazy to be making more jokes right now. So like, does the does the floor ever end? Is the perhaps question that is uh, most appealing to me at the present moment. Do we ever reach the end of the freaking creep? Do we ever reach the end of the floor? Well, not this way. My lord. You wouldn't, you know when you get frustrated? You guys get the same kind of like physiological sensation I do where there's just like a hot circle in, your, in the center of your brain? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. There's like one, there's like a hot ball bearing in the center of my brain. Just going like, just friggin' Alt F4. That's, that's, that's what my brain is saying to me right now. And my, 
you know, the, the higher level executive function is just fighting back with everything it's got. You know in movies where, like, superheroes undergo, like, a psychic struggle? That's what my brain is doing right now against itself. It's like, don't let him in, Charles! So we're still not at the end of the floor, huh? We still appear to be engaging in, uh... Oh, Lord. In combat, um... Telepathy doesn't stop the bombs, which is a little unfortunate, but... You can tell, you know, I'm just using my freaking noggin here, dude. Uh, you might be wondering, by the way, NL, like, are you gonna be heartbroken if you if you die on this run? I won't be. Um, to be honest, I'll be, uh, you know, I mean, like, very, very slightly upset. Succubus is very nice. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Succubus is very nice here, by the way, but... Um, I will, I will be mildly upset, I think is the realistic way to describe it. Um, but... You know, I'll mostly be happy for the run to be over. <laughs> I'm not one of those YouTubers who's like, uh, Hey, you know, hey, ta well, I don't want to insult anybody in particular, but, um, was like, NL, were you going to say top of the morning to you laddies? Yes, I was going to say top of the morning to you laddies, okay? But, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to be honest in my appraisal of the situations that are present, and I think it's fairly obvious that uh, this run is not the most enjoyable Isaac run I've ever had, but it's still, you know, it has a certain charm. Uh, any run that drives me crazy oftentimes tends to uh, be enjoyed by the by the viewership, so I, I'm excited about seeing the response to that. And thank you, Telepathy. Thank you, Demon Baby. Thank you, Shade. Thank you, Black Powder. Thank you, Wafer, in a huge way. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Nine Lives. Every single one of you was absolutely uh, essential on this run. Without you, we would not have triumphed. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!